Uh, right now, please, you stand up. for Pakistan American Society members and directors and life members and plus the people is came from the tri-state the travel from New Jersey New York Delaware are really thankful for coming here right now this time I want to invite the president of the Pakistan American Society he's been working last 15 years with the Pakistan American Society and he also is working with the, with the police commissioner and the special force for Obama. So I want to please come over and uh, just say some welcome words. Mr. Rizwan Mari. Thank you very much. As a president of Pakistani American Society, I would like to condemn the recent uh, tragedy in California. And we cannot tolerate this kind of uh, hor horrific action anywhere in completely unacceptable. We must make sure there is no room for such action in our world. This is the world which we want our children to be safe. We don't want to be. Uh, we don't want to be any kind of problem that we are a Muslim or we are a Pakistani. I would like to recognize and thank those individuals who are standing with me, with us, and defending the Muslim community during this difficult time. Hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to bring my good friend, Jean Dijiralmo. He is a nephew of uh, Joseph Dijiralmo, and he been. I'm talking about Jean, not. I didn't talk about Joe yet. Jean has completed almost 14, 15 terms in the Harrisburg Assembly. Jean, that's it. Great comment. So please come and take your words. Thank you, Rana. Good evening, everyone. Good, good to be with you tonight. Really, good to be with you. Welcome to Ben Salem, those of you who have traveled from a long way. So good to see my good friend, John Sabatina, who is now a senator, and I uh, get, give him a round of applause. I served with John for a number of years in the House of Representatives. Now, he went to heaven now because he's a Pennsylvania state senator, <laughs> and I'm still in purgatory in the House. But anyway, great guy, good friend of mine. Uh, just a qu couple quick comments. Uh, I know you want to hear from the mayor, uh, and I bring this up all the time. Ben Salem last year was voted by Money Magazine as being one of the 50 best places to live in the United States of America. The only town and community in Pennsylvania that was so named. And they said much of that was because of our welcoming and friendliness, our diversity, our cultural diversity, our religious diversity, and both me and the mayor are extremely, extremely proud to be part of this community. We both lived here our entire life. And I just want to touch on one thing, because, because it really bothers me from my heart. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump, I do not belong to the Republican Party that Donald Trump belongs to. Wow. And the hate and the filth and the garbage that comes out of his mouth, especially recently when he talked about Muslims, that is not the Republican Party that I belong to, and that is not the United States of America that we all live in. 
There is no place for that here in the United States and no place for that anywhere in the world. So I just want to say thank you for the invitation to be here today. Uh, there was a picture on the front of the Philadelphia Inquirer today. I don't know if any of you saw that. It was a picture of members from the Muslim community and they were holding up signs and they were saying that Muslims believe in peace and Muslims believe in family. And it was a great picture and I would encourage you to get a copy of the Philadelphia Inquirer today and look at that picture. Bensham schools are one of the best schools. Law enforcement, law and order is really good. People care about each other. This is because we have such a great leader. Mayor, thank you very much and come over here. I'm Italian, we hug a lot. When we like people, we hug them. Thank you, Rana, so much. You know, it's uh, certainly an honor to be here tonight to Consul General and his wife are here in Ben Salem. We welcome you and I hope that you'll return here and maybe we'll get to New York to say hello for some time if Rana takes me. Maybe Dr. Farouk will take me up and we can go up to New York. John, welcome. John, good to have you here. Thank you for, thank you for inviting me. As a, as a senator. I knew him when he was only in the House of Representatives. A great guy. Let me touch on something. I first it's an honor to be here with a Pakistani American society. Uh, how important that is that we stay together, we understand each other, as we assimilate into the American system, as all of us did. I'll tell you a quick story. Very quickly, my, my dad came here in 1910 is when my dad come here. My dad was born in 1897, so you know he'd be 118 years old if he were alive. Uh, but then my mom, they came here as youngsters, 14 years old, and came and worked in the society to give us what all of you do, educate your children, discipline, respect, responsibility, and that's all that I see in the Pakistani community. I see that. That's what you want, your family's education and to be here. Ben Salem, Ben Salem, the name Ben Salem speaks for itself. It means city of peace. And that's, to me, the most important thing. I want to govern a community that people working together on a daily basis, not once a year, not once a week, on a daily basis. It's important, the most important thing. Council General asked me what the most important thing going on in Ben Salem. There are a lot of important things, but the most important are the people. You make it, not the mayor, not the representative, not your senator. We try to lead and make good decisions, but the people are the leader. You are the ones that make a community, and we're blessed in Ben Salem, and I mean that sincerely. The most important thing to me is peace peace, and we have it in our community. As long as I am mayor, I will not, I will not allow anything else but a diverse, a community that cares, and a community to go forward, and I hope the next time I talk to you, we're number one in this whole country. We're number 47 now. God bless you. Enjoy your evening. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you for inviting me here tonight. It's, it's a big honor for me to uh, be allowed to address you tonight. Um, I'm a new state senator in Northeast Philadelphia. Uh, the De Girolamos are uh, in Ben Salem. They rule Ben Salem, and I'm just south of them in uh, Philadelphia, in Northeast Philadelphia. I took over from Mike Stack. Mike Stack got elected lieutenant governor and I'm filling a term, uh, his old term, and I run again in April of next year. So being a senator is a new job for me, it's a new experience for me, and I'm trying to do the best I can, so I'm trying to reach out to uh, all the different communities, especially the Pakistani community, because it is an important, a very important community, just because we have to be able to communicate with one another. We have to be able to share our feelings and our experiences, and that's how this country it gets better and better, is to, you know, to direct lines of communication 
that we can, we can share. As you hear maybe the national level rhetoric become ugly, become uh, tense, and become something that, uh, that frankly is embarrassing, I know that we will always have more in common as parents, as fellow parents, than we ever will have differences. And that is really why I decided to run as a parent of two and soon to be three young children. I wanted to be sure that that voice was represented on the Middletown Township Board of Supervisors. Uh, so it was uh, an incredibly difficult process, but uh, Dr. Farouk tells me that all the walking door-to-door uh, -door was actually great for the baby and uh, great for a, a healthy pregnancy. So that was my plan. I knocked on almost 3,000 doors in the township of Middletown, uh, trying to get the voices of the voters and understand what was important to those folks. So I do think that although Middletown is just one township in our broader region, uh, it's, it's important for us to reach out across township lines and uh, make sure that this area is uh, one where we understand one another and where there will always be peace and harmony, as the mayor said earlier. So thank you again so incredibly much. I think the engagement of this community has been inspirational. The way that you all band together but also reach out is a model for civil society and you should really be commended for your efforts. So please, I want to be sure that your voices continue to rise above those that are shouting and that are angry and uh, that I don't care to hear as much anymore. So I want you all to come together and uh, speak as, as a unit and as a voice so that we make sure that that's included in our political process at every level. Great. Okay. Um, our uh, next speaker is uh, Lena Glickman. Lena? So, Lena is a Box County organizer of uh, Pennsylvania Working Families. Pennsylvania Working Families, very interesting name, right, Lena? Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here and talk a little bit about um, what my organization is and ways we might be able to work together. So Pennsylvania Working Families is dedicated to fighting inequality. We live in a society where Wealth and political power are concentrated at the top where wages are stagnant, good jobs are pretty hard to come by these days, but some folks are just getting richer and richer, and we're concerned about that. We want to live in a society where every person, no matter where they're from, what their race, class, gender, sexual orientation, immigration status is, can get a good job, a good education, live in a peaceful community free of violence and poverty. and. Um, some of the ways we're working to do that are, as Dr. Farouk mentioned, we're trying to raise the minimum wage. So we know that right now people who are working for $7.25 or really anything less than $10.10 absolutely cannot get by. It's just impossible to make ends meet on that low um, amount. And we're also working to pass paid sick leave, which is um, basically the right for folks to care for themselves and their kids when they're sick without having to worry about losing the pay that they truly need. Um, so we know that these are issues of healthy communities and healthy families. People can't really care for their kids. They can't really invest in their futures if they're working so hard just to get by. And we know that these issues have to be on the forefront of um, the political work that you all are doing and the community work we're doing. I did, wanna, I did just want to say that uh, you know, over the years I've had um, the opportunity on several occasions to travel to Pakistan. I've always enjoyed my visits. I, I feel like I've gained important knowledge, not just when I when I was able to do the visits, but uh, being able to get together with, with the community back in uh, in Bucks County. So appreciate you know your content your contacts throughout the year. Um, the invitation certainly to be at the banquet this evening. I, I do want you to know that the contacts that we have between the community and me in my office has helped me immeasurably to better represent your concerns in our nation's capital. So I just wanted to call and say I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you very much, and I'm truly honored to have been invited this evening. Um, I'm coming to you today because before us, we are in the middle of a, an open enrollment period right now, and there still remains a great deal of confusion around the Affordable Care Act, which was passed over back in March of 2010. And there are some of the um, more important aspects of the Affordable Care Act, also called the ACA, 
which most of us are now enjoying, such as having our children stay on our health care policies until they're 26, no longer being able to have insurance companies discriminate against us because of pre-existing conditions. There have been monetary caps that have been put on health insurance policies so that uh, the number of bankruptcies due to excessive cost of health care has greatly been reduced. When we came to Pennsylvania back in two th um, 2013, there were 1.2 million people who were uninsured. By We just got numbers just last week from the Department of Health and Human Services, and that number has now been reduced to between four and 500,000 people. This is exceptionally important because health care insurance is now the law and there is a penalty for not having health care insurance. In my mind, yes, that is important, and I hate to have anyone have to bear the burden of a penalty, but most importantly, I would like to think that the security it provides with your families and the ability to take care of your families in the best way possible because you can have health care insurance. Dr. Farouk has offer to have people who are interested in enrolling and having and host he will host an event if there are sufficient people or if there are not he will give me the names of those who are and I will contact you and make sure that you are given the assistance that will help you to enroll. Again I thank you very very much for allowing me to speak to you tonight and it was truly my pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your evening. But within U.S., we have assimilated. We feel proud to be Americans. There is a reason for that, that this great nation of nations has allowed us. So, so that was my goal. Number two, we want to show that we stand, the, all the three tri-state region, in solidarity in promoting peace. We are a peace-loving community. And uh, whether it is in City Hall, Philadelphia, or throughout the nation, we would like all Muslims to stand united. And whenever incident happens, we need to show that peace will prevail. And the third goal was we want to show when an incident happens, like in San Bernardino, that we want to sympathize with them, that our prayers are with them. And those were the three goals. We ended the rally with the vigil. And we had a tremendous support. The burden lies on us that we are a peace-loving uh, community. We are. We are proud to be part of America. Thank you and God bless you. Ishq meri zindagi azadi mera iman hai. Ishq meri zindagi azadi mera iman hai aur azadi ki khatir mera ishq bhi qurban hai. Raja Ali Ajaz sahab, please come on. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum ji. There are two things that I'm going back with. Back to New York, that is. Lots of love and 10 extra pounds. <laughs> That's our weight. Rizwan Malik Sahib, President of Pakistan uh, American Society, Iran Atat Sahib, uh, Dr. Omar Farooq Sahib, and Taki Kamal Sahib, Social Secretary, Pakistan Asia, Pakistan American Society. Um, at the outset, I would like to echo the sentiments that have been conveyed earlier concerning the San, San Bernardino incident, mass shooting incident. Uh, the government of Pakistan has condemned it. So has, in line with the condemnation, the ambassador of Pakistan in Washington, D.C. has also expressed condemnation of that very horrific incident in which 14 people unfortunately lost their lives. Uh, as you all would be knowing, government of Pakistan has extended full cooperation in trying to carry out any investigations should they be needed on our part. So the two governments are working hand in hand, and there should be no reason why the matter should not be taken forward. But more importantly, in, in this entire process, on 6th of December, President Obama came out with some very strong words, all in favor of American Muslims, and their glorious past, their glorious present, and hoping for a gl glorious future. So we stand in, in debt to President Obama for his grand words 
And we should have no doubt that Muslims living in America or American Muslims, this is your home and you are law abiding citizens and your children will grow up here under no duress. So please stay firm on this. Um, I made a brief inquiry about Pakistan American society and I'm very happy to learn that they extend a helping hand to the community members living uh, in this state. Uh, particularly, uh, their liaison with the law enforce enforcement authorities is, is very welcome. Should there be a need on part for any Pakistani American to, to help them out? And last but not the least, they're also very forthcoming when it comes to natural calamities back home. I believe you've been mustering money and sending back home in order to aid those who have been affected. So my, my uh, congratulations to you for this laudable work. And I wish you all my best for your future endeavors. Uh, there are just two things that I, I would like to point out here. First, the education. It makes you a very responsible person in this society, and in any, in, any, in any society for that matter, but particularly here. So a responsible, law-abiding citizen. So education is very important. And second, in my humble view, I think we should make a conscious effort to join the mainstream politics. So this is something for you to think of, uh, but it's something, in my personal opinion, uh, that has not been there for the last four or five decades, ever since we have started coming to the US and have started growing in numbers. So perhaps you would like to think about this. Allow me again, sir, to thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in person, collectively, over the dinner and afterwards. Thank you so much. I just want to talk to you about uh, my organization. You guys know that uh, SACUP, South Asian Community Outreach of Pennsylvania. Uh, we started last year and uh, we grew very well. And uh, we have not only one community, so we have a lot of other communities that are joining us. And all, actually a lot of other organizations, they are approaching us too. So we decided at this time we have to change the name of our organization. We don't want to be limited to South Asian. Because whenever you talk to someone and tell them South Asian community outreach of Pennsylvania, a lot of people are out there. They, they, they will not buy it. So we decided to change the name. And our new name is going to be Recap. Reaching and empowering communities across Pennsylvania. SACUP is doing four things. First thing is the health care. So we are trying to do free health care for the community anywhere. We are doing it at the church, senior center, wherever, mosque, synagogue. So all, the next we are doing is the education. I think the education is very important for our younger generation. We have a program and we guide our children starting from middle school to high school and guide them to go into different fields, especially medical field. And uh, then the most important is uh, civic engagement. So we are working on that one. We have a lot of communities that are joining us. And uh, we also started the PAC, Political Action Committee, Arise USA PAC. And Ijaz Chaudhary is Secretary for our uh, Political Action Committee. And we think the Political Action Committee is very, very important. That is your power. Actually, I have this first question from uh, Dr. Anjo Mirvan Sahib. Uh, sir, you have asked, how can you make the process of getting NICOP easier and simpler online? Um, I don't know if you're aware of the new system that is in place, sir. You're not. Sometime back, sir, this used to be a bulky affair where you would need to fill out forms and give us a lot of documents before we would see them in the consulate and then forward them to Nadra. In this process, we gave you a receipt. This is the first thing I'm talking about, sir. There was a receipt of a number. When we took the application, we knew that we were waiting for a month. The receipt is going to go to the NADRA headquarters. The receipt is going to study your status online. Then the applicant was asked, after a month, that you have to read your status online. Then the applicant was asked, after a month, कि अपना स्टेटस खुद रीड करें और अगर कोई कमी बेशी है तो प्लीज कांटेक्ट द काउंसलेट टू प्रोवाइड अस द डॉक्यूमेंट्स और सीक गाइडेंस फ्रॉम अस हाउ टू मूव फर्दर इन दिस केस सो दिस वाज अ वेरी लॉन्ग प्रोसेस 
in some cases it would take months on end to get that card in some very few cases where people had all the requisite documents no issues with their family trees so they were able to get the cards wo bhi the soonest was about 8 weeks 2 months in the light of your question i think everything stands resolved now nikob applications are no longer being treated through paper applications now you need to visit the website and you can fill out your application online and send it to nadra headquarters in totality agar aapki website pe application accept ho jati hai so we presume that there is nothing wrong with it give and take there's nothing wrong with it and in under ideal circumstances you can have your card in about a four weeks uh, for fortnight's time so that's about 14 days aap kel mein ye baat thi sir i knew some of that lekin abhi exactly i don't know what kind of supporting documents they are still looking for sir wo to aap website jab uh, visit karenge to us pe sawal aate hain but agar i can say this ke agar aapko koi snag aata hai yahan pe we have a few pakistanis here who have used this online system and have been very successful sir so perhaps they can guide you here and if uh, you still have any problems i have left my cell number to quite a few i'll also leave it with you you're more than welcome to call me directly sir okay thank you so much you're welcome sir sir ek baat jo philadelphia ke residents hain please uh, i would like to address this this question to them i repeat all those जो फिलाडेल्फिया में रहते हैं आप सबकी जो जुरुस्टिक्शन है वो हमारी जो सिफारत है डीसी में उनके पास है सो फॉर ऑल काउंसिलर रिलेटेड मैटर्स इफ योर एड्रेस फॉल्स इन फिलाडेल्फिया यू आर सपोज टू गो टू आर एम्बेसी इन डी सी एम आई क्लियर सर अच्छा मैं I I beg your pardon I stand corrected sir I stand corrected Pennsylvania the state I I I I I beg your pardon sorry thank you so sorry ji to Pennsylvania jo hai sir wo jayega DC Washington DC jayega sir lekin iske andar thodi bahut hum gunjaish rakhte hain but this has to be understood also for example death cases ho jate hain ji and I quite understand ki New York jo hai वो आपसे डेढ़ घंटे के फासले पे है या दो घंटे के फासले पे है डेढ़ घंटा सो वी वी क्वाइट अंडरस्टैंड दिस दिस इज एन इमरजेंसी केस और इसी से रिलेटेड ये दूसरी बात है कि पी आई ए ऑल्सो ऑपरेट्स फ्रॉम न्यू यॉर्क सो इमरजेंसी केसेस में यू आर मोर देन वेलकम टू कम टू न्यू यॉर्क वी विल वी विल सर्टनली हैव एन आंसर फॉर यू ठीक है सर बट जो नॉर्मल एप्लीकेशन होती हैं पासपोर्ट बनाना है वीजा लेना है यू आर सपोज टू गो टू डी सी सर जी बिल्कुल इसकी इसके बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन प्रटेनिंग टू योर क्वेश्चन वुड नॉट बी रेडिली अवेलेबल ऑन अर वेबसाइट बट यू आर विद इन राइट टू मेक एन एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज यू इंटेंड गोइंग टू पाकिस्तान एज अ पिलग्रम sir if i may mention uh, you are addressing a question to a sovereign government what we should do we know better so you should not be advising us we have our own positions to take i am advising you in my capacity as a council general that if you wish to visit pakistan as a pilgrim we have a certain procedure for that you are more than welcome to make an application sir we will treat it accordingly this is khan मिसिस खान साहब लिखती हैं आई एम फ्राम इंडिया माई हजबेंड इज़ फ्राम पाकिस्तान मी एंड माई फैम किड्स हैव सम प्रॉब्लम्स इन गेटिंग वीज़ा फॉर पाकिस्तान ओके नाम नाम अच्छा आप मिसिस यूसुफ 
अच्छा ठीक है उसमें से अच्छा इसमें जी ये है कि आपके हस्बैंड पाकिस्तान से हैं ऑल राइट ही इज एंटाइटल टू अ फैमिली वीजा व्हिच इज एंड आई प्रेज्यूम दैट योर हस्बैंड हैज अ यूएस पासपोर्ट यस ओके सो ही इज एंटाइटल टू अ फैमिली फैमिली 